Hey guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your social images to the Divi theme. Let's get cracking. All right, guys, welcome back. We are in here on the demo side of the Easy Blog in a Box, and we're going to get to those social images that are down here on the bottom of the page. You got them right here. And then I'll also show you how you can get them up here in the um, top of the secondary menu. So first thing we do is we're going to go into the dashboard and inside. Well, OK, never mind. Scratch that. We're going to go to theme customizer. And inside the theme customizer, we are right here. So to get to your secondary menu, up here is the header navigation. And right now I'm showing you how to do this one up here. It's the secondary menu bar. Uh, actually, step back. What you want to do first is go to header elements. In header elements, right now I do not have the social icons on, but watch this. Whammo, they did not show up. Awesome. But you know what? I bet you if I hit publish and then I refresh this page, they're going to be there. And what do you know? Boom, they're there. <laughs> And that is why caching plugins are such a pain in the butt. Okay, anyway. So we're in here and we're under the header nav navigation and header elements. Now, if I unclick this, will it disappear? Yep, it disappears. So we have it clicked. So right now we have these. So another way to customize those is in the secondary menu bar. And within the secondary menu bar, you can make it full width, which means it'll take it out here to the edge, like so. Or you can increase the size of the icons with this right here on text size. And then you can also spread out the different icons, like so, using the letter spacing. Um, if you want them to be a little more prevalent, let's say you add bold, makes them a little bit more bold or italicize. I don't know if underline does. Oh, yeah, underline does stuff. So let's say we want it like that. The text color, I have it as our charcoal, the, the threes. But if you want to change it, you can make it whatever color if you have it in the default color palette down here, or you can just pick whatever one you want. So let's say, let's just keep it simple at the, the charcoal like we had it. So background color, I'm not really sure. Oh, that's the full menu bar. So what you can do is you can have a little custom color at the very top of your thing. And let's say you want to change the text color and make it white. So you got your things and they look like that. Let's take that off. I don't know if that did much. So let's go ahead and put the orange of our thing so it'll match right there. Got them up there. OK, so we would hit publish and that's how it looks. So if we come over here, this is this is how it was looking. But when we refresh this page, let's look at what happened. Got that that orange bar with the social icons there. And then you still have the social icons at the bottom of the page. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to change those. And by change those, I mean, add your your social links and everything. So we're going into the dashboard. And inside the dashboard, move my face inside the dashboard what are we doing theme we're going to divi theme options all 
All right, and like most of our stuff, the stuff is right here on the Divi theme options under the general tab. So if you scroll down, the child theme I put on our website has added a few of the social icons. I think the first, I think just a bare bones Divi install will give you Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. I don't think it gives you Instagram, Pinterest, or any of the, the extra ones. Um, but they're as easy as just enabling or disabling. So you can see right now, Google Plus was disabled. So if we go back to the other page, you don't see Google Plus on there. But if we enable it, let's say we want Venmo and Dribble and MySpace. <laughs> Who even is on MySpace still? If you are, please comment down below. I want to go check it out. All right, so we save that. We come back, we refresh the page, and we're going to have a whole bunch more social icons here in about a second. Boom. So now we have the, the Google Plus, the Dribble, the Venmo, the MySpace icon. So it's as, as easy as just enabling and disabling those. But you're going to want to send it to your URL for your Facebook or for your Pinterest page. So down here, if you scroll down a little bit further, you got the Facebook profile URL. And what you're going to want to do is just change this to the HTTPS backslash backslash www.facebook.com. And then you would enter in your the end of your URL. So after you enter, well, let me go back here. After you enter those in for Twitter, Google+, whichever ones you have enabled, then you come to the very top, click save, save change. We go back to this page. We refresh. And... It doesn't look like anything changed, but if you hover over this icon down here by my face, you can see the URL is changed to facebook.com. Now, if you remember all the other ones had a hashtag on it, all that means is it makes them present and clickable. So you can see uh, under the Twitter one down here by my face, you have the demo.angiegensler.com backslash hashtag. So that's all that hashtag does. So what you're going to want to do is change whatever you want. And then anything you want, just go ahead and click on it. And you can see it takes you to Facebook. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's as easy as it comes. Just enable, disable whatever you want, enter your URLs, and you'll not only get it up here at the top, but that also updated down here at the bottom as well. So you can see the Facebook is on there as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. And just remember, just keep plugging away. One day it'll look beautiful like a professional built it. Have a good one, guys.